Okay, we're going to do a 45 tranny here. So we're going through all the junk parts, trying to figure out what we're going to use and not use. It's been a month or so since I've done this, so I forgot. And customer's filming too. <laughs> so he didn't clean up anything like we were supposed to be doing over the last month, so I guess we're not doing anything about making it look pretty. Because he didn't do anything. It'll look pretty after I get it. we get it together. Yeah. So this is pretty well a junk box unless we need something out of it. That's the so-called good pile. So we're hunting for parts. <clears throat> See what parts we're going to use here. Somewhere we bought you some new parts. But I don't know where they're all at. Is this the extent of the new parts? I don't know. I thought we got a bunch. Well, that, that's a bunch. That's all I've seen so far. So here's another cover. If this one's any better than the one you got. Yeah, still got a good bearing area in here, it looks like, so that'll work. And the trend was painted, we use that one. Well, I think we're using uh, <coughs> the one that came off the bike. What's up, Skibby? What's Skibby want? He thinks there's food around here. He thinks there's wraps in this bag. No he rats. Heard, he heard that plastic. Yeah, there he goes. All right, Skibby. Yeah, we need one of these. Yeah, that's a good one, too. We're going to use it. We will be needing one of those. Okay, we got one of these, but yours looks terrible. So which one of these is worse? You gotta look at the teeth and figure out which one looks worse. I'm thinking yours looks worse than his. See, the teeth are all worn more than this one over here. Dogs are about equally worn. I think I'm gonna use his, not yours. You don't even have a low gear, so. It's a safe call to say that his is better than yours. So look at the dogs all worn out. This one they're not. So long as these teeth are still on here, we're using this one. It appears to have all the teeth on it, so we're using this one. There's a spring we might need. Ooh, a shift for it. We need one of those. This one here has got a lot of wear on it. More washers. Yeah, these are all individually marked what they are. In case you don't know. Mine were all like that too until we started doing puck raising. Okay. It appears this one's a good one. We're using it. I don't know why you took all these shims apart. There's a roller. We might need that. There's some more washers in here. There's a used finger. Okay, so that's backup parts. Shifter shift. How come his isn't as rusty as yours? Uh, he doesn't ride it as much as I did. Oh, is that what it was? I don't know. Is that Polish air is bad for it? I'm guessing. Let's see, Polish air, American air. See, it's rusty, but not pitted. I don't know why you threw away all these guitars. Appears to be straight. Yep, perfect. I even got an extra bag for you. Oh, good. Where's your shifter at? Probably in your tranny still? Just stripped that. No, it's not over there. It's a good thing we got an extra gear here. Yeah, this is horrible looking. This looks like your gear. This one's terrible. Where's yours at? Not in there. I don't know where it is. This is all big hell too. This is huge. I don't want to have to use that. Now oh, here it is. It's in the bottom of your Shift. box over here. Oh geez. This is not very good either. Maybe Dave's is better than yours. Jeez. 
Oh yeah, this is, which one's worse? Which one's better? The new rust or the old rust? They look about equally crap. Jeez, talk about bad. You need some better used parts here. These things suck. That's a toss up on which one's worse. So you look at the top of the teeth, see how these are more flat than these? That means this is worn more. So this has still not worn. It's rusted, but it's not worn. This one's rusted and worn. So his is definitely no, no good. So even though this one looks like crap, for now, it's the best crap we got to use. I ain't using that spring. Another washer. Okay, there's a cluster here. Nice and dirty, but teeth are still good on that direction. You always look at the gear flanks all the way across both directions. You're looking for flat spots, obviously any kind of a chips in it or heavy cracks or stuff that can fail. Okay, then you look on the inside of the barren area, see if there's anything that looks halfway usable. Okay, this one looks like it's usable. This one here, he's got a lot of wear on the teeth. They're heavily worn. So, this is not as good as that other one. The barren areas are about equal, but this has a lot more wear on the teeth here. So, it's still usable if you don't have anything else, but it's not very good. It's already at 50% wear life. Okay, what else we got in the bag? Okay, I got some nuts and keys. We can use nuts and keys. Yeah, those are good. It's a block. We're not using that style. Over here, washer. Another washer. Studs. Uh, I might need those, I'm not sure. Ooh, there's a lock screw, we need that. That's a good thing to have. Where'd you get this one from? Uh, that's what came out of it. And what's this one over here then? That's uh, one that Dave had. Oh. You notice the different hole size between these two? Where's your shift rod? Uh, back there. Do you have the big hole or the small hole? Because obviously there's two different size holes. I'm thinking this has got too big of a hole in it. Might have some issues. We have lots of issues around here. Oh, there's a case. Ooh, another shift drum. Alright. Okay, what shift drum do we got here? Okay, these are both earlys. So the way you identify an early from a late is you flip them so the fat side is up here, the notch. If it's on the left side here, it's early. If it's on the right side, it's late. The reverse pattern. Okay, so you want to look in here on the up here on the ramping right here. Make sure they're not worn heavily through there. Fairly good. Nice and even, not rusty. Then you look at the gear teeth next. Got short gears and tall gears. They use them both. I'm going to guess that his is probably worn better than but they both look used. Huh. I'm gonna go with this one. Looks a little better on the gear teeth. What? Smaller one. Smaller what? 
You said which one's got the this is the shifter rod, right? Yep. So this is your shifter rod. So this has a, a nice loose pin in it. This looks like it's got a bushing in it. This here's the other one. And as you can tell, it has a really loose bushing in it because it's made for a different size pin than this. Yeah, this one has a bushing, it's a later style. So this is a quarter inch pin that's made for 5 16 or bigger. Here's a 5 16 right here. It's got a 5 16 hole in it. So it doesn't work very well. Looks nice. You have to use something else to make it work though. Something like this. Nice and loose, but at least it fits. So this one works, that one don't. Unless you do something different on your shifter. Or we put a bushing in here. Well, you have to make a bushing to go in there. Mm -hmm. But yeah, that's your option. So it's either this one or that one. This one fits right now, that one don't. But if you want to modify it, have it made. That's the one we're going with. We don't have time. So that there was for something else, some other design. The later 45s had bushings in some of their stuff, so that might be off the truck. 58 and up type stuff. So here's a churn in case. It's already painted. It's got a brand new case race in it. So this is brand new. This is yours. This one needs a new one. Yeah, this is the one that was all pitted. I think we're going to use that one. This is studs. Anything else in that box? That's it. Okay, what else you got? I don't know. Where's this going to training? In that the uh... <laughs> Just go inside the tranny? Nope. Yeah. I don't think I need this box here, boss. Alright. <clears throat> so that's all you got left for trannies? That's it. It's all in the boxes back there. You got some issues. No issues. We need more parts. Don't have any issues. Got a lot of issues. I woke up this morning, that was an issue. All right, so we got a bed. This has got an issue. This here's got an issue too. So that's bad. We got a new bearing, a new gear, a new main shaft. But these parts here are issues. So we got to find some better issues. And this here, we've got issues too, but we're going to make it work. I think Dave is worse. Yeah, Dave's got a big pit in his right here. So this one's not going to work. So that's used. This one's used. don't have a really good counter shaft either. These parts here are still pretty bad. This here is so-so. I'll give it a light hone and see what it looks like when I'm done, but it's 
Looks like there's a pit starting to go in there. I'm not sure. There's something right there. I'll give it a quick hone to see how bad it is. So he's got the new case race over here. So for now, I guess we're going to use. But don't lose that. There's parts we need off of that. Okay. This here is uh, definitely replace it. So these two parts here, I don't like very much. And this here is questionable. Your counter shaft is used. to be relatively straight. Got a lot of rust over there where the bushing goes, but oh that is extremely tight. Not see that's why you don't use a dull whatever they used. What'd they fit that with? I have no idea. Put your finger in the hole. What's it feel like they fitted that with? I can. Was I that can a corn cob or just a rat tail file? It was combat. Combat file? Combat file. Yeah, I'm thinking that might not be the best. Where's Dave's cover up? <laughs> That's right here. Uh oh. This feels a lot better. Scooby, what are you barking at? Scooby, shut up. How you doing? What are you barking at? Hmm. You barking? You don't like the postman now? So he's definitely got a bad bush in here. Your bush in is questionable. His bush in here is good. Both the covers are chewed up equally. Yours is probably a little bit better than his on that part. So, <clears throat> so overall, ooh, looks like you had a loose chain right here. That's really loose chain. <clears throat> Ooh, this one was even looser. See, you're supposed to replace the chains once every 500 years. See, his cover's worse, but he has a bushing that can possibly steal out of it. And we still don't know if this bushing's any good. Your bushing is pure trash. Mm -hmm. so we're going to have to rob his bush, and hopefully it, it'll work. It's, it's, it's a little bit better than that other one. It's not new. It is better. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This thing over here, it's a, it's a totally different amount of cleaner. It sounds different. Yeah, it's cleaner. It sounds clean. Is that it? How's the bushing over here? Ooh, that's a good one. Okay, and the screws up under there, the tripper screws, they still have edges to them. Good. The screws up in here. These screws, where the hell's the camera at? Those screws right over there. <clears throat> Where's your shifter? Where's your kicker gear at? You don't have that either. That's in the junk box too. Kicker gear. This here engages underneath those tripper screws. That's what holds the, the kicker on a 45. So you have to make sure they're not worn. So we're gonna use that again. That's the dogs in here. Oh, they're perfect. They still got teeth on them. That's a good sign. All right, so we got to make a decision on this. Got to make a decision on this. We have no choice to replace that bushing, <coughs> and this one's questionable. See how it's all square on this? See how this one's all polished? 
There's been a lot of polishing going on, making these parts look better. See, it's all radius in here. See, they're supposed to be sharp edge like this. So I usually get radius like that. I mean, it's like a ball brush going back and forth, ball home. That's usually what makes it look like that. Mm. So that means they use precision tools. And when you feel it, it feels like they used a ball brush in the damn thing. Doesn't feel flat like this. Run your finger across this one. I'm going to toss one of yours. <clears throat> See how it feels flat? Mm -hmm. Feel yours. Mm. See how it feels like it's concaved? Mm -hmm. Probably is. So is this one better than this one? No. They're both bad. Oh. This one's got a big pit start, a big rust pit that's going to turn into a big massive pit. Mm -hmm. And yours is just a no contact area, but it's not pitted yet. So these are both bad. These are bad. This here has a lot of rust going through here, but it's on the barren area. It's it's still not it's still usable there. So we could use this if we have to. Dave's junk. It's all pitted out. The high gear we were going to replace that already, so we got a new one of those. So these are the parts we got to figure out what we're going to do with, and we got to figure out what we do about your shifter lever piece. So, is, is this your original rod or is this the one I picked up? No, that's the original. Okay. So I'm. What are we going to do about it being broken? What, um, you want to weld it? Not really. So you're not supposed to have a crack through your shifter rod right here. That's not a good sign. Yeah, that's uh, that's not how they're supposed to be. No. No. So yeah, that's uh, issues. Got issues. Mm -hmm. Why do you reparkerize parts that are junk? We didn't know it was junk at the time. Well, you blasted it, didn't you? Uh, yeah. You wouldn't notice it when you blast it. I notice these things when I clean parts. That's yeah. why I like cleaning parts because I'm the one that sees all the damage first. So then that way you know you're not supposed to continue working on the parts when you find out they're bad. Like this part. Now these are actually are heat treated, so if you start welding on these you will lose the heat treat. You didn't know that, didn't you? I did not. Oh. But my mentor did. Yeah. Don't you? Yeah, so these are... Um, yeah, it needs to be welded back together or it needs to be replaced. I'm thinking replacement. Okay, remember uh, along with these parts here. A retired soldier. Oh, oh, okay, start sniveling. We want to hear it. Come on, what's the sob story? I want to hear the sob story. It's gonna be a good one. We don't. We don't pay our. Here, let, me, let me show you. Yeah, it's gonna be a good one. We, this is the real shit. We don't pay our military like we do congressmen and senators when they retire. Now, yesterday, when you weren't here working, I was working putting away parts that I bought a while ago. Look what you found. I didn't find it. I bought it. Oh, look what you bought. You know, when these become available, you buy them because they're hard to get. Uh -huh. And you pay accordingly for them. And guess what? They haven't been selling anymore since these became available. Uh oh. So that means these are expensive-ass parts. So anyway, there's a new one. I get the ret how much for that retirement bonus check you got this week? No bonus. You didn't get the you didn't get the Trump bonus. No. I thought everybody was getting that. Only congressmen and senators. They well, that was Hillary was going to give you the bonus. They, that's what it was. They voted for themselves. She was going to fire your ass. That's what she was going to do. That was going to be your bonus. It's too late. They already retired me. Forced oh, shit. Forced retirement. Four stars, huh? No, forced retirement. That's same thing. All right. So we need some parts. So where's the rod that takes the, with the big hook on the end that takes your 5 16 bolts? Because you sure you had that one that was the other way? I don't think so. I think that was Dave's. Which one? This I, one? I think that one that looks like crap was the one that you had. That one? Yeah. I think this is the one I took out of the bike. Yeah, I, I remember. must have been. I remember it was all butchered looking. No, well, that's combat. No, this is a Polish repair. Yeah, combat. It just happened to oh, be in gotta get Poland. Higher. Gotta get higher. This bike came from so, Polish. So this one was... This is probably one of Dave's. Oh, okay. 
This is probably a brand new one that's probably for a later bike, for like an old tracker. Well, why did we uh, parkerize it? it? We parkerized the wrong one. Because the uh, trikes, they probably use a late style clevis like a big twin, and they use a 5 16 yeah. bolt through it, or a shoulder bolt through it. So this is a later model. So if you use a late model rod, you can do it. You have to have a late model rod. Is that a late model rod? No, that's a military rod. Oh, okay. Well, then let's use this one. But this one right here is a miller is a late model trike rod here. See, but I haven't even opened this one up to see what it is. That's okay. We don't need to open that one up. We want to stay with the military. Well, the thing is, your bike has been modified. And this has a clevis up here. Yeah, but this is a small pin, isn't it? Look at that. Yeah, look at this cute little pin. Yeah, but you know, if you notice, trike matches trike. Look at that. So this is the uh, the Dash 52 trike rod I got here. This brand new one matches what your parts are here, but still not even the same size. Cause that's that hole is still bigger. It's still bigger than this one. So I think we go with this one, don't you? That's what you'd put on your bike? I bought that for my bike. Oh, whoops. Remember you want me to go on some ride next year? In order to go on a ride, you have to actually have parts and maybe a vehicle to ride. That's what these parts are for. You could have been scanning the internet for this stuff too, you know. I didn't buy every one of these because they kept gotten outbid. Yeah. Well, that's why I didn't bid on them because you were bidding on them. I don't uh -huh. bid against my uh -huh. idol, my, my mentor. All right, well, I think you got to see if Dave has got some expert TIG welder down there that wants to modify this and get it fixed for you. We will, yeah. Because it's going to have to get fixed. Take it to Rob. So. Dave's coming in Wednesday. Yeah, so this needs to be uh, blessed. And hopefully the heat treat doesn't go away too bad on it. And this one here we're not going to use. So That's Dave's. Where's the junk box? <coughs> so that goes in the junk box. So is that. All right, so cream puff. We're going to use cream puff. Okay, what else are we going to screw up or use or fix? Excuse me, I got my words mixed up. You going to use a long filler plug or the short one? Uh, okay. The long one's for a uh, server car, right? Uh, evidently, they also me? used it on a 41 military, also. I don't know why they did. But... The 41 WLAs had this on there too for some reason. I don't know why, but it's for a trike normally. But I don't know about Canadian bikes. I don't know what stock for those. So. This is the correct one for a WLA right here. I have hundreds of these. I don't have any of these. You do now. Well, I don't know what's supposed to be on your bike. You have to go look in your comic book. One. See, when it sticks out long like that, it just gives you more stuff to break off. That's probably why these things break off, because they get hit up here and snap them off when they're sliding across the ground and being combat bike. When you got stuff sticking out like that, it hits it and breaks it. That's why you have these little profile pieces like this. The exhaust pipe goes right through here anyway. All right, well, you got either one to use, so... Well, the, let's use this one. The tall one's the one that came out of your bike. Well, this one hasn't been reparkerized. Yeah, that's okay. This one here is, I don't think it's been reparkerized either, I think it's original. Okay. It had enough oil on it, it looks new. Okay, well Dave's got a new uh, race down there that we have to see if it lines up and fits. That was a problem that we have with these things, making these things line up. And I can't remember if that was a problem on that one or not. Other than that, it's a good case. Okay, where's all your other parts? This all we got? That's it. We got nothing else. I couldn't find anything. We got to make do with everything that's left. Okay, now you know where this washer goes? No, but I know someone who does.
How about this washer? You know where this one goes? That one's the uh, rear end. How about this washer? Where's this one go? Uh, counter shaft. How about these two? Where does it say on it? Do you know where these go? Dave, David put everything on here. He knows See how it. long it takes me to work on these bikes when you guys do this crap to me? Look how long it takes for me to do this. Here, where's this one go? I have no idea. What does it say? It says main shaft, just like the last three. Okay, this says end play spacer. What's it in? What kind of end play are we taking space up with? Main shaft. Main shaft. These are shift forks. Uh, AP. AP. Okay. You want this out? Here's your washers here. You want this out? Huh? What? What's in there? What? Yeah, I need that. Sure. Oh, I found the spring. That's important. That goes in the counter shaft. It goes right there. Very important. Okay. Look what I, I got all the washers now. Look at I can see what I got now. Look at that. We got two of those. Got two of those. Oh, look at those. Got one of those. How come I only got one? Oh, there's two. We got two of those. Where's these thick ones? There's the thick ones. We got two of those. That doesn't look like the right one. That's not the right one either. How come this one's bigger than everybody else? I think some of these are homemade. You don't match. You don't know where all these go? No, but I know someone who does. I know people. You know people? Okay, that doesn't go there. That one does go there. Okay. Now we got to pick out the worst or the good one. Okay, this one here has a heavy wear pattern in it. It's good on this side, though, if you flip it over. This one over here has got a wear pattern, and this side over here is there, but this is all radius and ground, and this one here looks smoother. So, I'm thinking this one's better, even though it's worn more. We just flip it over, that's all. Okay, that feels pretty good on there. Are you not watching? Okay, I'm gonna. I like that one better than that one. Okay, I got that one done. That's one down. We only got two of these, so we have to use those. They go right here in the counter shelf. Okay, we we got two of this one. Uh, this one here. I like this one. This one goes right here. This goes on the main shelf. This goes on the counter shelf. This goes on that side of the counter shelf. Lay them out there like that. See, these are second gear. These are adjustable. They're different thicknesses, so we don't know which one we need. They go there. Where's your main shaft? Yeah, we don't have one out. We'll grab one right here. Oh, there's some more washers. Hey, here's a couple more I just found. Main shaft. Ooh, there's some more washers we need. You were hiding these from me over here. Look at this. Oh, I didn't mean to. The spacer. One of those. There's a bunch of bearings and more washers. I like those. Well, you know, you taking it out of the package and everything? Yeah, me too. Jeez. You're gonna have to be buying it now. Well, that's what you Ooh, said. Look how polished that one is. You like that one? That looks new. It is new. Where'd you get that from? Right over here. Oh. There's another one. A bunch of bearings in there too. Okay, I got a couple more of these, or one more of these. Now we got, now we got four to choose from. Now look at that. Oop. Heavily worn. Ooh, that one's terrible. Yeah, that one ain't much better. 
I think those two are good. We're going with those two. <clears throat> what else do you got? These things are terrible looking. Where'd you get these things from? Out of the box. Oh, that explains a lot. Okay. You got two to choose from. You got rust and good. Non rusty and worn. I don't like that. We're using this one. Where's this one go? Uh, I got no idea. Goes on the Harley. <laughs> Are we going to use it? Yeah, that's the good one. Flipped over already. I'm gonna go with this one. Where's this one go? On the Harley. That's right. You're learning. <laughs> Something's mixed up over there, though. You mixed up my parts. <clears throat> you put that shaft and you move it over. See this one here. This one goes on here. Oops. Heads. What if it was tails? This is the inner one. It's got an inside and outside. These two go right here. One there and one about there. The bearings go in the middle. Yeah, it can't be up here, I gotta be down here. Mm -hmm. Get the camera too low. Yeah, you could have been working at you by yourself. Okay, so we got that one. So now we need the ones that go in here. This one here should be the one that goes over here. Tight. You know why? It needs to be. There's second gear, it goes there. We don't know which one of those we're needing, but one of these goes on here. And only this one goes on now. This one doesn't fit. And this one's got some burrs on it or something. Oh, yeah. It's got a big wear mark in there. Oop. The camera, you see it. Yeah, that one doesn't go on there very well. That's got some sharpness. The edges on there. Okay, then you got to go to the other side over here. We need one over here. See that one? And this is the outside one. There! Look at that! All those washers go right there. Almost done. And we got a high gear. Oof, that is horrible looking. This way it ain't much better. We only had one of those. That ain't. That's not nice looking. This here is supposed to be flat, but it, it'll work. Okay, these are extras. We don't need these. Here, where's all those bags you got? You can put all these back into one bag. That's how I would do it. There. Done. Main shaft, Harley 45. Perfect. It's marked and everything. Oh, we forgot these. We've got two of these now to play with. Mm, let's see here. Ooh, that's got a lot of wear on it. We use this one. Does it fit? It goes right there. Hey, it fits in everything. Look at that. Wow. <coughs> Perfect. Perfection. I don't like this one. It's the only one you got too. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. It matches the worn out other pieces over here because it goes up with this thing. So that's still bad. This one here, you need to take a hammer to it and flatten it a little bit. It goes inside the case right here. So we'll have to work on that a little bit. Any more washers floating around that we missed? Another one of these would be nice. Yes. No? No. Hidden junk box. Now that is not the correct spring. That's why it's in the junk box. Why is the camera so low? Yeah, this is not the right spring. These here are the correct springs. A little different. This has a lot more tension on this one than this one. That's your kicker spring. It goes right there. That engages your kicker. If you have a real light spring on your kicker, it just pops out. You have to have a heavy spring. It also goes on your shifter shaft. 
that's the other one. Now this one's bent. So this one's bent. Mm -hmm. so you need to take a hammer to it? I need a pair of duckbill pliers. Which would be? Top long drawer of the toolbox, the blue handle. Maybe like way down there. You got a blue handle on them? Okay, this is bent right here. So when you take your duck bills and stick it right on the bend, like that, and you squeeze, it takes it out a little bit. There you go. Simple, huh? Even you could have done that. And that goes right on here. On that bad gear. Goes right here. Goes in the case. Holds this in. Spring good, gear bad. <coughs> okay, where's the gears we're using? Low in second. Is this shaft we're gonna use? Is that the one you would use? It's the new one. It has all the washers on it. We must be using it. So, how good is this bushing? Appears to fit. Actually, it's not too bad. Got a little bit of jiggle jiggle, but not too bad. Look at that. Go fast. <clears throat> you want to make sure your washer fits inside of here where it belongs. And you can see how this one does. So, there's your second gear washer. It goes right there. It goes over this bushing right here. How's this bushing? Pretty good also. Look at that. And the washer fits in there too. Look at that. Almost like it's made for this bike. It was. It was. Are you sure? Yeah. You're not just telling me that? No. Nope. Hey. Where's your high gear? Hey, Joe. Is that the missing part we're going to butcher? Yep. Alright. Stay behind the camera unless you want to know who you are. Are you recording? Yeah, we're talking about good stuff. <laughs> Harley stuff. Vintage Harley junk. Vintage Harley stuff. Yeah. <laughs> Made in Taiwan. Uh oh. oh yeah. Damn. Now I can't say that this bike is uh, totally American. It was Polish. Look at that. Now there's some high quality import crap there. Look at the buff job on that. That's the Baron area. That's, that's, that's like super smooth. Perfect. Jeez. Look at the flat spot in there. Look at that. I can hear that bike rumble now. It didn't even clean. <laughs> well, it will be. That's no good. That's junk. Look at that big flat spot. Right in the middle of the barren area, too. It can't be. We just got it. What a piece of crap. Where'd you buy this? Let's see. Tetro got it. V-twin. That was a genuine V-twin part. Oh, that is some quality stuff. Yeah, you can't even, it doesn't tell you where it's made. I didn't even see it. Oh, it says India on it. That explains it. Made in India. That's, that's a Dixie gear. It looks like a Dixie gear. We got a big flat spot. I don't know if you can see it in the video, but... This is never even cleaned here. That's, that's as heat treated. And they got a, they dropped it right there, a big flat spot. Right in the middle of the barren area. So they... Looks like they took a piece of 80 grit sandpaper knocked off the heat treating marks when they did it. Oh, quality. Where's the other piece at? Alright. So, of course, that's going to be right in the middle of the barren area like I figured. Oh, that's some quality stuff there. Oh, that is really nice and tight, too. Look at that. That bushing's not too loose, is it? Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Alright, we need one of these. 
That's my junk. <clears throat> Is the package was in? Or was it another package? No, it was in this. It was in this. Yeah. All right. Well, this gets to go back. I'm not using it. I'll put the old junk one back in before I use this piece of crap. <clears throat> All right. We'll have to deal with that. You have to see we got these other parts. We'll deal with them too. So we'll be back in a few more minutes. I gotta go hunt and dig up some parts.